Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Random Thoughts and Observations, Randy and Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and we'll get into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. Creating Sales Stars, it says a guide to managing the millennials on your team. One thing that many people in management, uh, people especially small business owners, that sort of thing, have learned is that millennials are a completely different breed from prior generations. Now, the book makes the assertion or has the observation that millennials aren't uh, in feeling entitled, they aren't lazy, they aren't stupid, they aren't all these labels that get put upon them. And you need to ask yourself, um, do you believe what you read in a book or do you believe what you see? And, see, it could go either way with that, because if you go in with the mindset that millennials are stupid, lazy, and entitled, that they want to, to be praised for doing what should be their job, then that's exactly what you're going to see. But if you go into it with the mindset of, okay, I need to teach this person, this person learns differently from how I learned, they came out of college um, with the understanding that they can go and argue with the professor and maybe get a better grade or beg with the professor and maybe get a better grade or mommy and daddy were going to come down and discuss with the professor about them getting a better grade and then they realize when they get into the workplace hey it ain't happening um, they get into the workplace of course uh, millennials decide after maybe a year year and a half at the most three years max that they're going to switch jobs and maybe even whole fields well, what we've had, what we're learning is that we have a new, we've created a new job title called trainee. And people are becoming professional trainees. They go, they start off with a company, they go through the training program, they get paid while they're being trained. And then after the training is over, when they realize that they can't cut it or they don't want to cut it, they don't want to get out the starting gate, they don't want to make the sales calls, they don't want to get down and do the belly-to-belly -belly selling like my my group my age has learned that you know you go in you do belly to belly selling you get a rapport with the person you uh, talk about their family you talk about their friends you get to know them and uh, eventually you gain their trust you can't lose it you gain their trust though and when you say something you you mean it um, with the millennials from what a lot of um, people will say is that they won't get out and do that they won't pick up the phone they won't you know, they want to send an email, and an email is fine for, you know, a follow-up, but as far as an initial contact, maybe not so much. Well, this book discusses that. It discusses different ways of how to help millennials see how they can get out there and actually make the sales and actually have a rewarding pay for doing an exemplary job. But it also talks about how to motivate them with maybe buying video games and having video game competitions and all of that. Now, if you're of the, the mindset from days of old where, you know, you don't do that sort of thing, maybe you get together for a company party from time to time, maybe you have a company picnic from time to time and that sort of thing, uh, that's one thing. But now we've gotten into a completely different set of uh, ideas. Now, if you have the mindset that that just won't work, then maybe you need to close up shop and or go overseas or only hire recent immigrants who haven't learned that lazy mindset that uh, millennials are labeled as nowadays. Now that's where you need to draw the line. That's where you need to make your own decision. Okay, do I believe that the um, millennial generation is just a bunch of lazy entitled people? I need to close up and go somewhere else or I need to sell the business and buy me a fishing boat or what have you then uh, maybe that's what you need to do. But if you want to really 
or you have to really grab the bull by the horns, then this book will help. Of course, now one thing I've noticed is there's a whole lot of whys you should do this and only a very few hows, but those hows can be very helpful. We think the book is well written and that's, you know, the whole idea of the book is well written. The premise might not be all that great, you know, if you're of the mindset that uh, millennials need to just suck it up, then uh, this book probably won't be for you. But if you're of the mindset of, I have to work with these millennials, I need to find a way to do it, then this book just may help. Thank you. Ready to order? Click the link below.